Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Woman horrified when she overhears what Obama has planned for U.S. neighborhoods. As liberals continued to fight President Trump tooth and nail on his migrant ban, a woman who's been sitting on many of the United Nations meetings regarding refugee resettlement to the United States is risking it all to raise alarm bells to those willing to listen. The information she has about a literal Muslim invasion is so disturbing, that it proves that we are intentionally being taken over thanks to the malicious actions of those at the highest levels of our government. And if our president is unable to stop what is happening with an executive order, America as we know it will soon be lost forever. The woman's identity in the following video is kept private due to the damning information she exposes about the hordes of terrorists being flown into America as we speak. She reveals that there is a blatant war on American sovereignty taking place, being orchestrated by Barack Hussein Obama who continues to violate the law through by blocking President Trump's ban with judicial activism. Obama is secretly planting his Muslim foot soldiers in America, as thousands of these unvetted vermin continue to come to America under the guise of the refugee program. After attending many meetings with the United Nations Office of Refugee Monitoring, she was able to drop the following bombshell on the sickening invasion taking place in America. She reveals that not only are these individuals flown into America at night so they go under the radar, but that they're being thrown on a plane and flown into our country with absolutely zero vetting process. She notes that many of them have many highly contagious archaic diseases that were once eradicated from the United States, including leprosy, tuberculosis, smallpox, polio, and giardia. GOP The Daily Dose has more. She also dispels the propaganda that the invaders are primarily women and children, a tactic to pull on the heartstrings of the American people, stating the vast majority of refugees that we've received here in Missouri have been males, between the ages of 15 and upwards towards 40. 45 years old. Josh Tolley notes the similarity to the situation we've seen playing out in Europe. She reveals that the invaders are brought in at night, supposedly because the airfare is cheaper, but also because there is less public at the airport. In other words, it's easier for them to hide what they are doing to us. It's almost like they're making money running refugees, was a comment by the host. The guest says the agencies are responsible for setting the new arrivals up with a place to live, welfare, food. Medicaid and welfare and a housing allowance, in addition to the cash they receive on arrival. She states that the new invaders don't have any documentation, that they are in essence being given new identities upon arrival, many of them coming in with no more identity than a description as funeral name unknown. They were also pressured to identify the refugees in such a way that they would be qualified for social security long-term disability. What's even more disturbing is that after immediately given social security benefits once they get to America, these invaders are then given complete new identities through social security cards and U.S. passports. And if states refuse to exercise their rights and refuse to play ball with these invasion programs, the federal government has a backup plan for that too. The Wilson Fish Program gives the federal government legal authority to go in and violate state sovereignty, dropping off these Muslim invaders wherever they damn well choose. With these terrorists now free to roam, sleeper cells can then be activated at a moment's notice to carry out terror attacks on Americans. Obama did a wonderful job not only creating ISIS, but allowing them to rise to power. Now all that is left for his plans to come to fruition is to invade America with his Islamic foot soldiers, and through judicial activism and blocking Trump's travel ban, this is how Obama will succeed. What makes it even more infuriating is that the liberal media will continue to cover Obama's treasonous ass, blasting concerned Americans as racists and bigots who want to implement a ban on these vermin as a way to keep terrorists from infiltrating America. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.